Hey guys, and welcome back. And if you're new here, thanks so much for joining us today. Today's day 28. Oh my God. <laughs> Crazy gigs. Um, today is actually the last night we are going to be connected to Shore Power for like the next 11 days. <laughs> Tomorrow night, we're going to be at a Walmart. And then the next 10 days, we're going to be boondocking on BLM lands. So I want to take advantage of my Instant Pot because I don't want to plug my Instant Pot into the Jackery and suck up any energy that we can be using for the TV, for the computer, <laughs> for our fans. So um, Lou is craving a snack and I have a few of these sweet peppers left. I think I have like eight of them. Um, so what I want to make today is basically almost like a jalapeno pepper, but since neither one of us really like jalapenos, we're not into really spicy food. My alternative is sweet mini peppers. So also, um, also, if you're going to go to a potluck and you don't know if people like um, heat or not, this is a great alternative and something quick and easy that you can make and super impressive and everybody's going to love because who doesn't love bacon and who doesn't love cheese? So... <laughs> Um, definitely make it either as a snack for yourself in the rig, game nights, movie nights, just craving for something salty or, um, potlucks. We love potlucks. Well, I shouldn't say we, you hates them. I love potlucks. <laughs> so let me go ahead and show you the ingredients I'm going to be using for my poppers today and how it is that I'm going to make it inside of my instant pot. Right, so obviously the main ingredient is the mini sweet peppers. I already used all the red ones because I was out of bell peppers and I needed to make sofrito. <laughs> so I used those. Um, and then the filling inside of the sweet peppers is actually going to be a combination of cream cheese that has been sitting out on my counter for quite some time now. It's nice and soft that I will be mixing in with some mozzarella cheese so that it's nice and creamy as well as melty and stringy. Ah! Super delicious. Inside of this mixture... I'm going to add some garlic because who doesn't love garlic? And I'm going to add the last bit of bacon bits that I have in here because there's not a lot. So I might as well put it to you so that I can throw this away. If you're going to use bacon bits, make sure you use real ones. Um, there's so many of these packets that are um, imitation bacon. This is actual bacon. Bacon uncured, not imitation bacon. So take a peek at that. And then I will be wrapping it in some bacon. So I have black label thick slices in here. Um, let me show you how I do it. I'm basically going to cut off the top and pour it out, take out the seeds and take out the, the stems. All right, let's get to work. I've got my little peppers out. I got a little tiny peering knife out. I'm going to take off the top and I'm basically going to stick my peering knife in here and line it up to the veins and circle it in my palm, cut the vein again, circle it in my palm and cut that vein again. And that should be done now i'll just go ahead and move it back and forth in the bottom so like that the whole bottom gets cored out and i can scoop it out and look at that the entire core and it's nice and clean in there so not too difficult let me go ahead and throw these inside the bag that i have off to the side and start working on the others so cue fast forwarding And that is all she wrote for chopping. Turns out we have 10. I thought I had eight. So that's perfect. Five each. Let me go ahead and start working on this mixture. Let's move that to the back. Move this over here. I'm actually going to get my hands dirty. Because I don't find I'm using Philadelphia full fat. And yeah, what I was about to say is I just find it pointless using the hand mixer. For this part, it's not like I'm mixing anything really serious in it. It's not like we have eggs or sugar. It's just mozzarella cheese and cream cheese. And this is uber soft. So I'm pretty sure I can massage it in together with my hands. And then stuff it in. Whatever is left over, because I'm more than likely not going to use this entire thing. I was thinking... I have some chicken thighs in the fridge and while we're out there boondocking I can go ahead and defrost them and I can mash them down almost like a really thin fillet butterflying that's what I mean to say I'm gonna butterfly it and I'm gonna pound it down so it's super thin and then I'm gonna stick in whatever's left over of this cheese and little bacon bits 
and I will wrap it up and we can stick it in the oven. I think that's going to be super delicious. What do you think? <laughs> All right, let me get back to this. I wanted to share that with you because there is going to be leftover and you were probably wondering what is it that you're going to do with it. So that's my plan. I've got the cream cheese in there. Let's go ahead and open up this bag of shredded mozzarella. Add more in after I get it mixed, but let's go ahead and start with like half the bag. And I think I'm going to do like a nice big squirt of this because I mean, Lou loves garlic. There we go. I think that's a better squirt. I can smell it. Oh, we're going to have some dirty fingers. <laughs> Thankfully, none of this is raw meat. All right. See, there wasn't a lot left for one salad. So I might as well get it out of the way. There we go. Look at that, that cream cheese is so soft. I'll even use my fork. Um, and then the rest of this. All right, I feel really comfortable with that. I can really smell that garlic. Everything's folded in really well. I wish I had more bacon bits, but hey, I'm using what I have. I made a bit of a mess here. And right now the temptation to lick these fingers is through the roof. So let me wash my hands really quick <laughs> so that we can start the stuffing process. Let's get through now. Are you guys ready to stuff with me? I have a little plastic spoon here. I'm just going to scoop up. I might have to use a better knife actually now that I think about it because I'm not going to be able to stick it all the way in. So let's do that. <laughs> I had to do it. I had to do it. Got a taste test. Once upon a time, I used to do this just with cream cheese. And what I would do is I would like cut a little sliver of the cream cheese and then just stick that sliver in here. But now so many people are mixing shredded cheese with this. And I was like, Ooh, that looks good and some people do herbs some people add extra bacon i've seen people do it with um ground beef too and that looks super appetizing almost like a cheeseburger inside of your sweet potato um i'm all in for that i haven't tried that one yet so this is going to take a little bit so we are going to go ahead and fast forward once again while i go ahead and get all of this goodness stuffed in I'm going to stick this inside of a Ziploc bag to put away. And let's go ahead and start wrapping these. Alrighty, I'm back. You don't know that I left, but I'm back. Hopefully there's not too big of a difference with the audio. I actually had to unplug the mic so that I can plug in the charger because my phone was actually dying. Who would have thought? I really hope I have some slices of bacon in here. I didn't think that through. So one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> don't tell me I have seven. Okay, hopefully we don't use an entire slice. <laughs> <laughs> per <laughs> have seven one two three four five six seven eight which is what i thought i had i thought i had eight <laughs> um poppers so let me i don't know what i'm gonna do let me go ahead and start with the biggest ones because those are the ones that are going to take the most bacon and what i always do is i cover the top so i start by like laying it over and then I start wrapping it around. These big ones for sure are going to take one whole one. And I already took out my Instant Pot air fryer basket. So I will go ahead and start standing these up in here with the cream cheese part upwards. There's two more left and one more slice of bacon. So I'm going to do the same and cut this one in half. So that one might not be wrapped completely around. But they don't have something. Put that in 
there. <laughs> I wonder if I should just not cover the top. That might help. So we've got the Instant Pot plugged in. We've got the air fryer basket filled with the bacon wrapped sweet pepper poppers and I'm putting that in. Let me grab my air fryer lid. Put it on air fry setting and I'm going to start with 15. Well, actually, I'm going to go ahead and do the full 30 because it's going to beep halfway through at the 15 mark and then I'll go ahead and flip them at that point. 375, I'm okay with that. So start. I'll see you guys in 15 minutes when this beeps. I picked up my mask and it's only been three minutes. It says there's 27 minutes left and the entire rig smells like bacon and garlic. <laughs> it smells so good in here. Um, I can't wait for it to be done. There we go. And there's a beeping turn food. I was about to start complaining. I was like, it smells really good in here and I haven't heard a beep. Let me take a peek. And it said 14 minutes. It's like, hold on one moment. I need my other hand to put this down. 14 minutes it said. So I was like, wait a second. Ooh. Let me check the other side of them. I might not even need the full 30 minutes because it looks like the bacon might be fully cooked all the way around. Okay, this side looks like it needs a little bit more. And this one completely got destroyed out there. Oh my goodness, I may have overstuffed them. All right, let me take them out so that I can evaluate them better and then we can pop them back in. I guess it's been a hot minute since I've made this because yeah, that was more than enough time. <laughs> there are a couple of bits and pieces that are a little bit on the softer side. So I'm going to have those since I like my bacon loose anyways. Um, and there's a bit of an explosion in there. I think one of them may have tilted over and <laughs> some cheese came out of one of them. Shh, don't tell anybody. I'm going to leave it as this on the plate for us to eat and then I'll go ahead and scoop that out because I'm sure Lou's going to love eating it with a spoon. <laughs> Let me show you what this looks like and we will give you a little taste test. All right, instant pot air fryer sweet pepper puppers. <laughs> Um, I wish I had more bacon so that some of those that I cut that bacon in half, like that one, um, man, would have been completely wrapped. I think this one is probably going to be the best one and this one over here. So let me go ahead and get the little thumbnail picture so that we can start chowing down. All righty, let me pull this ottoman out so that I can sit here next to Lou. Right. Seen a little mess of cream cheese here that exploded. Yeah, it's delicious. Oh my god. <laughs> mm. All right. Well, we are gonna have this snack. We're gonna share a beer also. We have a, a shiner sea salt and lime. First time we're trying this one. And it's from Spotsel Brewery, which is in Shiner, Texas. You want to drink from the bottle or you want a glass? Oh, we can share it. Yeah, it's a, it's a very light lager. Yeah, very refreshing light lager. I think it's going to pair really well with this one. I'm going to go with this one because this one's a little bit more soft here. I get the lime, but I don't get the salt. I don't get the salt. Yeah, I get the lager and the lime. I'm going to go with this one because this one's a softer one. Mm, I know soft. you don't care for the soft. <laughs> you guys, you guys. I'm afraid of burning my mouth. You took a huge bite. It wasn't really hot. I was waiting. <laughs> mm. so good. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. I need to put something over me. I don't want to drip grease all over myself. Welcome to my 200 pound life. <laughs> I don't know how I do it. Oh my god. <laughs> That's why I have to walk five miles a day. <laughs> this is the reason. Oh my god. But I don't do things like this all the time. No, but you make delicious yeah. things all the time. So yeah, well, that. You know. It's hard to not eat all day.
Lexi likes it too. Lucy likes it too. I'm going after this big one. Okay, okay. stop oh. it. Stop it. I will fight you for bacon. I think I should have added more mozzarella so it could have been more like mm. stretching. No, I didn't need anything. Hmm? But if you don't like it, it's okay. I'll eat the rest of it. Mm. I really like the sweetness of the pepper mm -hmm. and the contrast. Mm -hmm. I was like dying to have like all the bacon in the world. You know, the oh, yeah. salty bacon, the sweet pepper, and the creamy filling. It's the perfect combination. Yeah, the crunchiness of the pepper. I highly <laughs> recommend making it this way if you haven't tried them with sweet, pe with sweet peppers before. Give it a shot. Let me know what you think about it. And also, if you make poppers as well, let me know what is your vessel preference and what is your filling preference because there are so many different fillings out there. Mm -hmm. I'd love to hear how you make yours. Um, if you enjoyed making this with me today and you're going to take it with you to the next potluck. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Just if you enjoyed making it with me today. Um, give me a big thumbs up. I'd love to hear what? your comments down below on the questions I just asked. <laughs> and if you're not subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button. We have two more days of cooking in here. Um, and then we're on to our April vlogs, which would be two vlogs per week. So just a reminder for those that didn't catch it at the beginning, Wednesdays and Sundays. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. <laughs> Should I go in for another? One of the little ones, one of like the messed up ones. This one right here is the messed up one. <laughs>